Welcome back, everybody. I just looked at today's date. Is it the 23rd? Yeah, it's the 23rd. Got a 200 mile ride in. Had to uh, go fill up. I should have seen how much gas it cost. 202 miles yesterday. This weekend is absolutely incredible. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through the little town I live in. Let me get around this blue car. Boom. That should have got me. So I live in Lancaster, Ohio. It's a small town, 35,000-ish people. And I live kind of on the southeast side. Um, a minute or two, and I'm in the country and absolutely love it. Right now we're on Main Street, and we're heading to downtown. I think it's like any other small town here in the United States. Have some old buildings. They're moving around things, so which is... I'm, I'm confused because like that used to be the courthouse. I think that used to be the courthouse. It's not the courthouse anymore. I don't know what it is. That used to be the sheriff station. That's not the sheriff station anymore. And then we're up on top of Main Street and that, I don't know what color that is. Green, blue, that's Ewing House. I think he was a senator. Then we're going into the downtown area. Sherman, General Sherman, that's his house. my first bank we got a nice little square with a fountain oh the fountain's still on yay new courthouse is this building right here they're just trying to to refurbish we got all these little things these i don't know it's stuffed stuffed people for uh halloween maybe see there's another one there's one down there too and then we'll go this way. And we're gonna be bad. We're gonna come back up to Broad Street. Up oh, there's my bank. See, they had things out front too. I don't know what that is. And then we're gonna turn left. That's the Georgian. It's a museum now. At one point in time, my grandfather had the uh, the ability to buy it, but it was in really bad shape, so we never did. There's our library. Oh, see, there's another one. Another another stuffed creature. And uh, while I'm coming this way, I mean, of course, we have churches on every corner. Small town USA, right? Um, but this is, I think, what Lancaster is known for. Well, first we were known for making glass. We had a couple different uh, glass factories. So a lot of times you don't see uh, Glass City USA. And then I'm my first school when we moved here was north, and now it's Mount Pleasant, I do believe. And why they name it Mount Pleasant is we have a mountain. So here was my first elementary school, but it's a perfect shot for the mountain. Isn't that just beautiful? So we have a mountain. You can walk to the top of it on a clear day. So normally I would say, you know, spring, fall winter when it's like super clear and colder you can see Columbus Ohio which is really cool you can see the downtown then our fairgrounds there it is nope Mount Pleasant oh there's people up there hi people and then someone left some money and they they light it up on the weekends I've <laughs> I haven't even come up here to see it yet. So uh, that's our small town. Now I gotta figure out where I'm riding. So once I get that figured out, I'll, I'll be back. All right, I changed my mind. Rising Park. Let's just run through Rising Park really quick and then I'll let everybody go. Boy, I'm going too fast. Oh, big bump. That's a pretty dog. So here we go. It's really pretty. It's been 
years since I've been here to be honest with you but isn't that just gorgeous and then uh, <laughs> to be honest with you that little gazebo is where the wife and I got married the second time around in that little gazebo look at this this is really pretty and I live here I love it Beautiful. Yeah, that little gazebo. Right there. Right there, buddy. I guess this is how slow I should have been going. Eh. I'll be back. everybody we be recording so I uh, just went through Haydenville now we're in Nelsonville I'm just gonna run through the old part right here Rocky Boots is out here and then we'll look this way and then we'll do around and then we'll do the other way I think it's cool it's just a I mean I don't know I dig it not many words, not many words. And then the other side. Cute little fountain. Cute little town, cute little town. My dad went to college in this town and then taught at the college before they moved up north. And that's how I know Nelsonville. So uh, I'll get down the road and come back. Maybe we'll stop in Athens next. Oh, I don't know if the uh, camera's gonna pick that up, but we got a, a ram with a headless ram rider with the uh, head as a jack-o'-lantern. Maybe I'll just go straight. There we go. Dig it. Welcome back, everybody. Shut the old lid. Just left Nelsonville, heading to, uh, heading toward Athens, I do believe. I'm gonna head down that way uh, 200 mile ride yesterday it was absolutely what I needed to get out 200 miles in the state of Ohio you see uh, quite a bit I uh, well the last few rides I've seen where the uh, the Hawking the Scioto and the Muskingum River have all ended in the Ohio River it was pretty cool. So the Hawking is Hawkingport, I do believe. The Scioto is down in uh, P P P Plim <laughs> I forget. Um, and then uh, Marietta for the the Muskingum River. What do they call that? The confluence. It's a big word for me. And now we are twisting along this beautiful road. I don't know why the, I took it one time. It was a, a detour or something. And I was just like, oh, blown away 
at how gorgeous this road was. Oh, that's a road. And it looks like it's paved decent. Huh. You know what that means. I'm gonna have to go down it. I don't find too many roads in this area that I ride, which is, I don't know, four or five counties. That I haven't been down, but then every once in a while I come across one and it's just, <laughs> I mean, they're just fantastic. And most of these roads down in Southern Ohio, if you've never been in Southern Ohio and you live in Ohio, you are missing a ton of great rides. You know, I'm just, I'm just right on the, the edge. I live in Fairfield County and um, Northwest Fairfield County, flat farmland and the, the south east corner, it just gets hilly and beautiful. And I think I'm in Athens County now. I don't know, Hawking County, one of those. And they are incredible rides. But when you cut your teeth on and I'm not saying, oh my goodness, these are the best roads in the whole entire world. What I'm saying is they're an incredible road. And when you learn to ride on twisty roads, then, you know, when you do step it up to, you know, something in the Smoky Mountains or even out west, is that a dude in the middle of the road? That's a dude in the middle of the road. That's cute. That's cute. You know, and then when you do step it up to, different roads they're not as intimidating oh that's pretty yeah it keeps going there we go call my boss tell him i'm not coming in tomorrow because i'm riding that would be nice that's a turtle that was a turtle all right so we made it to athens um oh you Ohio University. There we go. And I'm just going to go do a loop and um, the downtown area they call Uptown. And then I'm going to get back on the road and uh, go somewhere else. So let's do a little loop. <laughs> Gloucester now. I could be wrong.
All right, everybody. Now we made it to New Lex. Right, welcome back everybody. I think this is gonna be the last small town we're gonna to hit today. Here we go, the white house with the green roof. Now uh, we just simply called it the farm. There's about 30, 35 acres. My grandparents lived there when I was a kid and I spent a ton of time out at the farm. So we are coming into Somerset, Ohio. 883 that's a good little road uh, it's like the first catholic churches down that road it's huge it's beautiful and uh when i left new lex instantly i had been behind this thing the whole time it's like no but it's okay it's okay so somerset i mean like I said, I spent a lot of time out here. My uncle, aunt and uncle, cousins lived out here. My grandparents lived out here. It's the cutest little town. Um, I, I don't know if it's a square they have in downtown. Up here. I think it's Sheridan that is on the statue. General. General, I'm gonna get hit with leaves. Yeah, the little white house, that's where my uncle and aunt and cousins lived for the longest time. And like I said, I'm pretty sure it's a, a considered a square, even though it's a kind of a roundy bowdy thing up here. And uh, it's different, it's backwards. So normally when you're inside of the roundy bowdy thing, you, you go and people coming into it stop. Well, this one is when you're coming into the square, you have the right of way. It's, it's quite crazy. Oh, look at the old Mustang. Cute little Mustang. Ugh. Oh, gotta stand up sometimes. I love these boards on this because I can. I can stand up and there's so many different positions you can move your feet. So here we go, here is downtown Somerset. And uh, for whatever reason, this has been coming like a, a mecca of bikers. I come down here all the time and the square is just full. Yield to traffic on the right. This is gonna be a minute because it's backwards. It's backwards, people. You go. No, you go. No, you go. You go. You go. 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 See, people just don't understand it. They're, they're not used to it. See, bikers. Let's see, we just sneak on through. Look at all the trikes. There were a couple other trikes the other way. Oh, there's a spider. It's a nice little spider. I like that color. Look at the leaves. And I think I'm going to head on home, so that was it. We'll just call this a tour of small town USA. So I hope you liked the video. My throat is done. I've been sick all week. And yesterday's little moto vlog thing just failed epically. So 
Hopefully you enjoy this one. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Stay safe, everybody. I'll see you down the road. I'm going to get back to some tunage.